Hi, I'm Jaja, and welcome to Math with Jaja. Today, we're going to learn more about ratios. In the last video, we learned how to group objects to help us picture what the ratio would look like. For example, if we have the ratio of oranges to apples is 3 to 2, we can put all these fruits into groups with three oranges and two apples in each group. Now let's try to look at the fruits in a different way. What if we group them vertically? We would have five groups, three groups of oranges and two groups of apples with the same number of fruit in each group. And instead of drawing oranges and apples, we would use bar diagrams, which would be much easier to draw. So we could have three boxes to represent the oranges and two boxes to represent the apples. Now we can easily see the relationships that we talked about earlier. The number of apples equals to two thirds the number of oranges and the number of apples also being two fifths the total number of fruit. Now let's use bar diagrams to help us solve more ratio problems. The ratio of boys to girls in a math club is five to three. If there are 24 girls in the math club, how many boys are there? So we could draw a detailed picture like this one, but instead we can draw a bar diagram. Let's start with a big bar. This will represent the entire math club. Now we can divide the bar into eight parts, five of them representing the boys and three of them representing the girls. With each box, having the same number of students. Now, since the question asks us, if there are 24 girls, how many boys will there be? So we can look for the relationship between girls and boys. By looking at the diagram, we can see that the number of boys is five thirds the number of girls. And since there are 24 girls, that means the number of boys will be 5 thirds times 24, which is 40. So there are 40 boys in the math club. Now let's look at another question. If the total number of students in the math club is 48, how many boys will there be in the club? So since we have the same ratio, we can keep the same diagram. But now we're going to be looking for the relationship between the number of boys and the total number of students. Let's look at the diagram. The number of boys is 5 eighths of the total number of students. And since the total of students is 48, to find the number of boys, we can do 5 eighths times 48, which is 30. So there are 30 boys in the math club. Today we learned how to use bar diagrams to help us show ratio relationships. Bar diagrams are much easier to draw and it is a more straightforward way to see relationships among groups of objects. In the next video, we're going to learn more examples of how to use a bar diagram to help us solve ratio problems. Thanks for watching.